Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 26th this week. Definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, King of Spades keeps coming up uh, at this time. Uh, could be changes with authority figures, uh, even on a global scale. We could see things going on with uh, presidents, uh, you know, anything like that. Um, you know, prime, mini prime ministers, stuff like that. Uh, could be a lot of stuff going on there. So uh, definitely something to pay attention to with the uh, King of Spades here uh, this week. So um, a card of authority figures, like I said, uh, changes coming in there, but it is a card of justice, a card of uh, positive changes coming in. Uh, for you personally, it's also a card of needing to strengthen ideas as well. Um, I don't know why, it, it, like I said, it's come up for almost every sign. I've used a different set of cards for every single sign so far, so uh, it's interesting that it just keeps popping up. Um, you know, to me, again, maybe maybe the energy is wide open. It seems to be a very straightforward week, so the energy could be very open, and this is a card of strengthening things, so it's it could be saying, and I what I think it's saying, and I feel like it's saying, is that, you know, it's kind of like a week where I feel like we could really set things into stone where changes that we want to make happen it might just be an easier time to make those changes happening you know to make them happen this is a card of uh, not necessarily growing something but it is a card of like really getting down and dirty with details strengthening an idea um, and maybe not even an idea it could be like a relationship maybe you want to strengthen your relationship this card says now is the time to do it so a great time to strengthen anything you want to strengthen uh, next you have the two of clubs another card that's come up for like a couple other signs card of talking and mostly a card of communication but it's a card of also doing something like kind of in the face of difficulty and making something happen that could lead to a lot of success. So make sure to do that. Also a card that says, listen to yourself, don't listen to anybody else. I mean, this is a card of, you know, J.D. Rockefeller uh, was born under this card. He's, he was a an American oil tycoon, basically. And, you know, this card represents him because, you know, he created his company during the Great Depression, a time where, uh, you know, nobody should have been starting a business, but he did it anyway. So it kind of represents needing to do something in the face of fear needing to do something and not listen to anybody else. Next, you have the Two of Diamonds. Very good card for money coming in, changes money, uh, insurance payouts, tax payouts, all those other types of things. Also a great time to like seek a tax professional um, or, you know, again, King of Spades represents experts and all this other stuff. So great time to seek somebody who could help you with anything financial as well. This is a card of great financial benefit and a great financial turnaround as well. Uh, next, you have the Joker actually came up twice for you. So uh, could be a very busy week for you at this time. Could be thinking about a lot of things. Also could have had a bunch of responsibilities added on to you recently. I would say King of Spades plus Joker, uh, even just one Joker, never mind two, could represent a, you know, a great increase in responsibilities, a great increase in things to do. So that could be a good thing. Again, could represent promotions, raises, more money coming in. Or again, it could represent like some sort of relationship or something that requires more responsibilities, maybe even children or something like that. Next, you have the Nine of Hearts card of wishes, getting something you wish for. Uh, but again, I do feel that increase in responsibilities this is a card of like needing to travel more or needing to do more as well. So again, there could have been some increase in your job that requires more effort or something like that. I'd say it's a good time for you to do that anyway. Um, the universe is giving us more energy anyway. So, you know, like I said, I think it's a good time for that. But it is a card of wishes and victory. So, you know, this could also be leading to some sort of success in your life. And finally, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Like I said, I feel like um, in a few years, you'll be looking back and you won't be able to believe where you are. So kind of what I'm getting on this card. So I feel like Leo's life is changing and, you know, probably to the point where you won't even recognize it in the future. Uh, and I do feel like it's for the better as well, uh, especially if you try something new. Uh, you know, that's been Leo's thing since I've started reading here on YouTube is that you need to do something new, do something different, uh, step outside your comfort zone uh, at this time. So definitely do that but it looks like a great week very interesting a lot of stuff going on like i said and you could be very busy at this time as well but it looks good also great week for love i would say it's been a great week for everybody for love so far and you have a bunch of cards twos represent matching up with somebody perfectly so if you're single could be a good week for love but you know i mostly see winning is the word that comes to mind so looks good to me uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week